the place that God has designed for you that he's already lost the battle. Come on. Uh, Come on. Yes, sir. I said that's why you freaking happy in your life. That's why it seems like nothing is going according to schedule or plan. That's why he didn't want this revival to take place. That's why he didn't want this conference to happen because he knows that God is up to something. In fact, the Bible says in John chapter 10, verse number 10, he says that the thief coming not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Come Jesus on. said, I have come that you might have life and have it more. Abundantly. You gotta be honest and tell the truth that make to the fact that the presence and the power of God is undeniable. Whenever God shows up, he leaves evidence and proof that he was there. Hallelujah. There is no problem that he cannot fix. There is no habit that he cannot break. You cannot be resuscitated or be re rehabilitated until you come to Jesus' moment. You gotta have a come to Jesus' moment. I said,
what he said, the trauma that said, you don't know my story or the things that I've been through. You can't feel my pain, what I had to go through to get there. Right but my worship, my worship is for real. My tears is inside of my worship. I know you're wondering why he doing all that yelling. Why he doing all that crying. Why he doing all that giving. Because it's personal. Hallelujah. How do you know? There be a personal God in a personal crisis. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, be a personal God in a personal crisis. Hallelujah. For Philippians 3 and 10 says, that I may know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. Tell your neighbor, I'm just trying to get to know him. Each day gets better than the day before.